you know, another brick in the wall here. I've just been tripping on the facts lately how, you know, I, as much as a lot of people would probably look at my life, and even myself included, and I'm just like, Dan, like, there's a lot of things that I could improve on, of course. There's a lot of things I could change. There's a lot of things I need. There's a lot of things I need to do. And that's all true. But uh, at the same time, everything is absolutely perfect and as it should be. You know? Like, I've been tripping on the fact lately, like, I don't lack anything whatsoever. Like, I got friends that love me. I got family. I got my little mini. So, like, anything else in my life is just, uh, extra little frosting on the cake, you know? Because just when I wake up in the morning and I see my little kitty, when my eyes first freaking open to see the first rays of sunshine of the day and my little cat's just cuddling my shoulder right here with her little face just staring right up at me and she's purring because she's excited to just cuddle you know like it's perfect like it really doesn't get much better than that you know like laughing with your friends having a good time being with your family petting your dog petting your cat like I'm pretty much convinced like that's as good as life gets and it's just kind of like a trick we play on ourselves like oh I need this and I need that like all this stuff will make me happy like there's so many people around the world that's like oh once I get this good job like I'll finally be able to get all the things I want and I'll, I'll finally be happy, you know, stable. But it's like... No. It doesn't matter how much you change your situation. That love and happiness you feel when you're petting your cat or laughing with your friends or hugging your grandma. That's what it's all about. Like, it doesn't last for long, you know, the... Happiness, like... It's all very fleeting, but that's about as good as it gets, you know? Like, I don't think it's much better to be chilling with a cocktail on the Bahamas, you know, rich as fuck. I don't think that even compares to, like, just hugging your grandma or petting your cat. Like, that's all great and stuff, you know, to be on the Bahamas and chilling and vacation and have all the money and cars and houses like that's all great of course but it's like if I'm laying on my deathbed I can only imagine like I can just almost guarantee that I would like I wouldn't be like man I wish I made more money or man I wish I uh freaking had a bigger house or man I wish I did this or that really I'm just like I feel like I'm thinking damn I wish I could like ask my dad that question or I wish I could cuddle my cat again I just want to cuddle my cat one more time before I go I just want to give my loved one one more kiss before I go you know it's like that's what I'm going to be thinking about so like I don't know, all that other stuff, you know, you got to make money, you got to have a house, you got to do all this stuff to have a good life as a human, but man, I'm just feeling so blessed because it's like, I just got to be present, you know, for them, those moments that you get those little gems of love, you know, like every single morning, I just got to take in the fact that, oh, this little kitty cat loves me, you know, and it's just the greatest thing ever. Like, really. Like, if I was tumbling towards imminent doom in the universe, there would be nothing I would want than to be with someone. Like, not just. 
be with someone like because I'm scared to be alone type shit just like there's nothing else I'd want than to like be there with like my family or friends as I go through that terrifying experience of uh, going towards your death in the universe it's just like you know I'm not thinking about all these material things and I guarantee you when I die it's I'm still not going to be thinking about those things so like I don't know that's what I've been trying to get into it's just like realize like man everything is as it should be you know and regardless if like you're sad or whatnot like happiness is not the goal so really I mean the world's just a crazy potpourri of ups and downs and lefts and rights and diagonals and and so you really just gotta take into account of what's really important sometimes you know it's like just know like man giving your kitty cat loving in the morning is really that's about as happy and as as as, as it gets you know obviously I'm thinking there's some few uh exceptions to that like you know you have a child or those and that like you might have even more of this feeling that I'm feeling now you know so that feeling's just gonna get stronger and stronger as I go through my life you know which is awesome because as I go through my life I'm gonna be like uh trying to do different things and I guess that's the thing. I guess that's the point I'm trying to make is like I just have to remind myself that all these ambitious goals and materialistic goals and things I want to buy and get like that's not uh what's important, you know? Like I'm I'm just trying to live for those meaningful relationships and just live to see my kitty happy you know it's so weird it really almost sounds depressing when I'm like talking about damn that's as good as it gets when I'm petting my cat it sounds kind of sad but like that's not where I'm coming at it at all it's like it's just so beautiful that I even have that opportunity to like spend time at all with my cat and my family and friends and it's really just a goddamn miracle that I'm even walking on this planet you know and so really just trying to soak it in yo really just trying to soak it in because you only get so many mornings with your kitty cat or so many phone calls with your friends and whatnot so it's like it's like you really just gotta be present you know and live your fucking life <laughs> and not worry so much about uh, what you need and what you don't have and just focus on the stuff that you do have while striving for a better future you know that's that's what it's all about in 2024 focus on what you got already while striving for a better future so yeah with that said i'm about to go home and as I walk up my stairs to my apartment, it's just like, I'm gonna hear my little mini meowing for me, and it's just gonna put a big smile on my face, and when I open up that door, she's gonna bolt out and just be barking at me like a dog for me to pick her up and pet her and just, ah. Uh, bringing a smile to my face already, y'all. But, uh, peace. Yeah, I'm about to go uh, cuddle my kitty. Have a good night.